Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo. Um, if you run a shooting range or any type of an installation of that sort, you probably want to listen to what these gentlemen have to say. They're with a company called Point of Impact. And we have in the studio today uh, Hank Yasek, who is a partner, both of your partners, and uh, Doug Vanderwood. Tell us what exactly your company does. Yeah, David, uh, Point of Impact, we're a range and retail consulting firm. Uh, we work with range and retail operators, either ones that are in the development stage that don't exist yet, or existing uh, retailers, to help them hone their processes uh, and just be more profitable organizations. So, if I have, and I do, I, I run a shooting range. So, if I, um, if I look at what's happening at my range, I can, I can see certain things that a profit driver, certain things that are loss drivers. One of those things that, and we've talked about this previously, is membership. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about the, that aspect of it. Yeah, memberships are, are a big deal. And there's one, there, there's not a lot of expense because you've already built the building and have the bullet traps. So promoting uh, memberships is great for the, the profit standpoint, but it gets people into your facility and enjoying the sport. And what we've seen as a change, it used to be, you wanted to sell someone a membership and hope they never came in. Right. Yeah. And now as an industry, we've changed and we want you in because we've realized that those members are big ambassadors for our store, our range, and for the sport. So the trend is to get them as a member, get them involved in a shooting activity, kind of in that tribe, and get them to keep coming back over and over. Sure, and with membership, you have skin in the game. So you're, you're a member of some place and you, you, know, you use it. The other thing, and you came up with a term I'd never heard, but I certainly understood, and it's gamification. And that's, uh, I've said this for a long time, if, if you join a range just to have a place to go shoot when you want to, mm, you may or may not last very long. But the real thing is this gamification, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, you know, one of the big things we see, when you think about gamification, the root of that game, games are fun. So there's all sorts of ways that the shooting sports can engage with our consumers uh, from outdoor, indoor, and all different ways that to make our sport fun, because fun is a lifestyle. It's something I want to keep doing. I want to keep going back to the range, whether it's indoor or outdoor, uh, and keep engaging with that facility. And for the owner, that's nice because it brings more revenue into the business. So what would, you, what would you suggest to people who own businesses like that? I mean, people walk through the door with certain expectations. Is there a disconnect between what people are looking for and, and what tends to be available? Or how does that work? Well, I, I tend to think just as an industry, and you know, we go to work in our range every day, and we, we've lost sight of that shooting is fun. Sure. Know, so that's why a lot of us got into the, in the beginning, and I don't think we promote that enough, that, that shooting is fun. And one of the other um, things I would really encourage ranges to do is corporate events. Uh, when I had my range, I spent a lot of money advertising, particularly to new shooters and females. And typically a female will want to come in with another female to shoot. So now you got to advertise enough to get two of them in to hope they have fun. Or if it's a corporate event, 20 ladies or guys and ladies from the office come in, rent your facility, have a little meeting, you can cater some food in for them, and then they get to go experience the shooting sports and have fun. They've already uh, come in as a tribe, so they're, they're going to like it. Your staff's paying extra attention because they've rented the, that space. And the best thing is they're going to promote your store because they had fun and they paid you to come in versus you having to pay to get them in. I've actually had this discussion with, with other range operators. And as I mentioned to you, we, we provide everything. And I've had range operators say, well, that's expensive. If they want to come, to bring their own stuff. The reality is the package deal is what makes you money. Right. You, you have to make it easy for people because you're not competing against other gun stores. We're competing against bowling alleys, golf courses, and if they're going to have a corporate event at a golf course, their, their member coordinator is going to say, here's package one for this many people. Do you want to add the food? Do you want to add the drinks? That's who we're competing against, and that, that's who we need to catch up. And it, it's so critical as an industry on court to get new people in of those 20 people that came to a corporate event, there's probably half of them that have never shot a gun. They may have never have come in. Now they come in and say, that regardless of what the media says, shooting is fun. This is, this is cool. And, Absolutely. And, and one thing you bring up, Doug, too, for, for uh, folks out there, 
so many organizations we work with from that fund perspective and corporate event perspective is they don't have one key employee in their organization and that is a member coordinator. Somebody to touch with their members, keep them on the books, connect with corporate entities and things along those lines. When we do the work out there and we see organizations that do have a membership coordinator full time, not part time, it's their highest return on investment employee that they have in their organization. It makes total sense. It's also interesting that statistically we know right now women are the grow are the fastest growing segment in the business. And I don't mean to demean my peers, but I don't think all of the people who are running the programs really understand dealing with women. I even, well, a pink gun even bothers me. But my experience has been that women don't want to be one of the guys, they want to be part of the group. I even go one step further than that. They want to be themselves. Meet our customers where they are, who they are, and how they as an individual want to be treated. I can give you examples when I first started going down that, that path of understanding that women were the big growth area of, of our retail sector. Uh, and all of a sudden you start handing them pink guns and purple guns and things like that. And I ran some customers off in that perspective because that's not how they wanted to be treated. Think of them as an individual and you'll connect with them a lot better. Sure, it makes total sense. Any, any sort of final words of wisdom you want to uh, pass on? Any thoughts? Again, think about your consumers, where they are, when they are, from all facets of your business. Look towards how are other entertainment industries, because that's really where we're living today more than anywhere else. Where we see success are businesses that see themselves as entertainment centers. Sure. It's discretionary money. They right. can spend it any, anywhere they want. So look at who your competition is, and that's not the gun shop down the street or the big box gun shop across town. It's the other forms of entertainment in your community are really who are competing for your consumer exactly. dollars. And see how they're doing it, and can we do it better? It, so, it make, make the sport fun. That, that, sure. That, that's what we need. So. You know, if you're still at the show, the, the gamification, you know, there's uh, games where you shoot at real bullets at a paper target and things blow up and it goes in a headset. Yeah. I saw another booth where you hit the target, lights up on your iPad, tells you where to hit. And a lot of this stuff isn't that expensive, but as an industry, you know, we, we need to fight back against people thinking guns are evil. And what better way than to get them to have fun with them? You bet. So how do people get a hold of you if they're interested? Yeah, so we, our website is pointofimpactgroup.com. Uh, quickest way to find us, find us uh, via the NSSF as well too. Um, or come see us in our booth at uh, 20321. Okay, so if you need good advice, it's Point of Impact.